Hi everyone, it's Fraser from No Match Chester here, another quick video tour. So I'm taking you around this 2014 Ford K8 which just showed up on site. This is a fantastic little nifty city car hatchback sort of cross kind of thing. Very nifty, uh, very easy to manoeuvre, very reliable, and quite a pleasant drive all around. There's more than meets the eye of this car. This is the ZTEC model in particular, just means there's a few nice little bits of extra bits of kit. And, uh, let's have a quick one for the car. It's going straight in, very stylish with the, uh, the black and white contrasting interior. I'm quite a big fan of it myself, it's quite stormtrooper-ish. Very comfortable, thanks to the sort of bubble shape of the roof, it actually leads to being very spacious inside, it's like a little TARDIS almost. It's far more comfortable inside than you think. You can pull back on the seat to see there's room for two passengers in the back. And again, there's plenty of space. It's actually quite easy stepping in and out when I was taking the photos earlier. I'm actually able to stand on here, sort of bending over. So actually, it's one of the easiest sort of uh, three-door cars I've found to get in and out of thanks to the roof shape. For reference, I'm 5'11", and I didn't struggle at all getting in and out of the back. So that's quite nice, actually. Jump into the back here. You've got plenty of boot space, and of course, you can fold back those bit of seats if you do need to to extend it off for bigger journeys. This thing is more than adequate. Being a Ford, of course, it's very reliable, very easy to handle. It's got great economical performance. Jumping right into these comfy little seats, we do have electronic mirror control. And in addition, we spied those little discs. It gives us a bit of extra uh, visibility and into our blind spot and also in parking. It's a nice little touch. The car has done slightly shy of 60,000 miles, which is actually, well, 58,000 more or less. So it is actually pretty impressive considering the age of the car. And there's many more miles ahead of it in store. I'm just starting it up, but I'll show you the steering wheel mounted controls. We do actually have steering wheel mounted volume controls and voice control. We've got our Bluetooth capable. Uh, telephone controls and uh, menu screen selection. It's fantastic. There we are. Like I say, you can see flashing there the 58,000 miles on the clock. So it's got many more miles left in store. We do have a media player here with CD and like I said, the Bluetooth before. Very easy to configure. Down below, we have all our aircon settings nice and spread out. Very stylish, like this. Of course, our dash is very easy to change it all when you're driving. You don't have to take your eyes off the road or anything. Quite a big fan of it. Our electronic window control stands located down here. And have a five speed gear stick. It's actually very easy once you get used to positioning of it. It's a bit weird at first, but it actually, once you find it, it's actually really adaptable and nice. And uh, it's quite hard. You kind of start wish all the other cars had it, and once you have it in this position, it's very convenient to reach for. Of course, you have a 12 volt port or 180 watt port down there. And there's actually an additional USB slot hidden underneath this rubber cover. I'll see how I lift that up to show on the camera. Yeah, so we've got a USB port down there and additional storage, but it's all tucked away nice and neatly. Additional cup holders and of course our parking handbrake. Additional storage up above as well, you want to put your sunglasses away. And like I was saying, in person it's kind of like a, like a little TARDIS almost. You've kind of got to be in it to believe it, but it's extremely comfortable. Very nippy, it's very handy. It's just a fantastic little car. So, obviously, if you're looking for an SUV, this isn't going to float your boat, but if you're looking for something that's easy and practical to drive, fantastic economical mileage, you know, great insurance costs, this is definitely going to be something you want to look into. I do apologise for the wind, we're going to have to end this video tour here. So, for more information on the car, you can go on down to the YouTube video description where you'll find a link to the Auto Trader listing. Alternatively, you can go on our website at www.nomatch.com to find out not only more about this particular car, but the many more we have just like it across all of our sites. That's all from me. I hope you have a great day. Cheers.